Hello, my name is Mark Borbus. I'm the Vice President of Marketing for iNetco. And our product, iNetco Insight, is transaction monitoring software for operations teams and channel delivery teams. When you think about the modern retail banking environment, um, most banks are adding a lot of new ways to interact with their consumers and for their consumers to interact with them. So whether that's new channels like mobile banking, whether it's modifying existing channels like the ATM channel, or whether it's new converged channels like video tellers, there's a lot of new ways for consumers to interact with the bank. Now on the IT side, that's doing some interesting things. There's a lot of new IT systems to support those points of interaction. Um, and they're integrating as well with a lot of legacy environments. So when all of that happens and you're in an operations context, you have quite a challenge trying to figure out when a consumer interaction fails, what system was responsible? Where did things break down? And where do I need to start looking? So our software helps those operations teams identify and understand why consumer interactions fail. So now what I'm going to do is ask you to put yourself in the head of a, an ATM operations person. And you're running a big fleet of ATMs, let's say in Manhattan. You've got great real estate, um, and you're serving a lot of your customers as well as customers from other banks. And when you do that, you make revenue off of each of those transactions. So it's really important that things work properly and the transactions aren't declined for technical reasons. And so let's say they do start getting declined for technical reasons. How are you going to find out about that? Is the customer going to call you through your help desk, through customer service? Or maybe the branch is going to inform you if someone whispers in their ear. Um, even more likely, you're going to get your weekly revenue report and notice it's down and start to investigate. And what if there's a better way to do that? And that's what I'm going to show you with iNetco Insight. So I want you to imagine instead that you receive an email on your mobile device and you click on a link in that email and uh, it takes you to a message that, that indicates a business rule you've already set up in the system uh, about these declines that you want to watch out for. And in fact, it's actually showing you the, the actual consumer transaction where that problem occurred. So we can take a look into this. For those of you who understand ATMs, this will make, that message will make sense. What I'm going to do though is show it to you in the context of the broader transaction. So as you can see at the very top here, our user was trying to withdraw cash. And it took 60 seconds, which is a long time to wait only for a machine not to give you any money. And if you scroll down here, you'll see that individual transaction where we disappointed the, co the consumer highlighted. And I can have a look at this. So when we drill in on this particular piece, we can actually look at the, exactly what that failed consumer interaction looked like and what they saw on the screen. So you can see two things of interest here. Number one, you can see the dollar amount of the transaction, $420. And you can see this kind of cryptic message that goes to the customer, issuer unavailable. Probably doesn't mean much to the consumer, but means a lot to you in terms of understanding the ATM and how it's working. Uh, but I still don't know where it broke, so let's just have a look at that now. Because in the entire flow of this transaction, follow our check marks down here, well, there we go. There's the broken part of the transaction. So as this transaction made its last step to a host, something technical broke in the transaction. Now, I'm not going to spend the time to try to understand it here. I've just identified that I have an issue. And I'm going to move back to my desk now and try to understand with iNetco Insight what's happened, what I need to do to improve it, how I restore the service. So let's pick up that same event now back at the, the desktop, this unexpected decline that we're worried about, that we've set a business rule around. It's happened a number of times. Let's pick one of the events here. Now I've got an expanded view of that transaction and everything that happened here. And you can see, again, most people don't understand the exact precise flow of how one of these transactions works, especially when you're bringing together a lot of different systems to make some of these new services work. So we do that for you. We give you a nice graphical view of exactly what the transaction's doing. Now you can see something interesting here. A request goes out to this final step in the transaction and nothing ever comes back. So the rest of the system tries to recover from this, but the net result is it declines the transaction. So this is something you're going to want to deal with. Uh, if you're on the ATM operations side, this is not your issue. This is someone upstream of you that's going to handle it. So what you might want to do is just go ahead and send them a link to that transaction so they can come in and see exactly what it is that you saw 
and see the, that exact failed consumer experience um, from their perspective. Now, as much as we'd like to be proactive and have our business rules set up like that, um, often things happen that we just don't expect at all and can't predict. And so in that case, you need to be able to react as quickly as possible. So let's say we get a report of some failures from a particular device, a particular endpoint. Could be an ATM, could be a kind of user, could be a mobile device, you name it. Uh, but we know one thing about it. Based on its location, it's got a 57 somewhere in the terminal ID. So we can pull that up very quickly. Now I can drill in here on this particular device, and you're going to see an interesting pattern come up here. Uh, this allows me to understand the, the impact and the scale of an incident that someone may have reported to me, and then react very quickly to address it. You can see this device for the last hour has not executed a successful transaction. Every single one of them has failed. And just like I did before, I can drill in to understand why it failed and send the details on and kind of that same same flow that you saw before. So we've talked about how we can do this for the ATM channel, but imagine you have this same kind of power and visibility across any channel, whether it's your ATMs, your loan application, online banking, mobile banking, you name it. All these interconnected systems, you can see deeply into them and understand their transaction flow. For instance, online banking is often used very heavily by consumers overnight when the bank isn't open. So you may want to understand do I have any response times or failure issues in the overnight period that I should have a look at and get in the morning and have your cup of coffee? And so you can see here, your response time varied. There's some peaks you probably want to investigate. And you see a couple of little red failures there that you absolutely are going to want to drill into and understand what happened there. So these same capabilities are available across any channel. So most retail banks are aggressively expanding the number of ways that they can interact with their consumers. And this is creating a lot of new IT systems, and it's in integrating a lot of those IT systems into legacy systems. And that creates complexity and challenges for the operations teams that are responsible for making sure all this stuff works together seamlessly to facilitate a, a successful consumer interaction. What iNetco Insight does is it restores visibility into how all those systems are working together so that if you do have a failed consumer interaction, you can spot it, you can identify it, you can understand it, you can figure out how to get it out of the system so that everything works better the next time. So the idea is you're able to restore service levels faster and also manage the risk of a transition to a much more complicated front office consumer experience.